Hey everyone, welcome to another TensorFlow 2 YOLO V3 Tiny Object Detection Implementation Tutorial. In this part, I will show you how to utilize YOLO V3 Tiny, the same as we did for YOLO V3 Original model for real-time object detection. The YOLO object detector is often cited as being one of the fastest deep learning based object detectors, achieving a higher FPS rate than a computationally expensive two stage detectors, for example, faster recurrent neural networks and some single stage detections as RetinaNet and some, but not all, variations of SSDs. However, even with all that speed, YOLO V3 is still not as fast enough to run on some specific tasks or embedded devices such as Raspberry Pi computer. To help make YOLO V3 even faster, Redmond et al., the creator of YOLO, defined a variation of the YOLO architecture called YOLO V3 Tiny. Looking at the results from this image, the YOLO V3 Tiny architecture is approximately six times faster than its larger big brother achieving upward of 220 frames per second on a single GPU. The small model size and fast inference speed uh, makes the YOLO V3 tiny object detector naturally suited for embedded computer vision and deep learning devices such as Raspberry Pi, Google Coral, NVIDIA Jetson Nano or desktop CPU computer where your task requires higher frames per second rate than you can get with YOLO V3 model. In this tutorial you will learn how to use and train YOLO V3 Tiny the same way as we used in my previous tutorials. The downside of the course of course is that YOLO V3 Tiny tends to be less accurate because it's smaller version of its big brother. For reference, Redmond et al. reports 51 to 58 uh, percent map for YOLO V3 on the Cocoa benchmarks dataset, while Tiny is only 33 percent of map, almost less than half of the accuracy of its bigger brother. That said. 33% is still reasonable enough for some applications. As I said, on the standard computer with the graphics processor unit, it's easy for YOLO V3 to achieve real-time performance. However, in the miniaturized embedded devices such as Raspberry Pi, the convolutional YOLO V3 algorithm runs slowly. The YOLO V3 Tiny Network can basically satisfy real-time requirements based on limited hardware resources. Therefore, in this tutorial, I will show you how to run the YOLO V3 Tiny algorithm. So, YOLO V3 Tiny instead of Darknet 53 has a backbone of the Darknet 19. The structure of this is in the following slide. As you can see, and this structure enables the YOLO V3 Tiny Network to achieve the desired effect in miniaturized devices. Same as in YOLO V3 tutorial, seeing Darknet 19 and above and before image I showed you the YOLO V3 Tiny structure, we can't fully understand all layers and how to implement it. This is why I have one more slide with the overall architecture of YOLO V3 Tiny Network. So, in this picture you can see that the input picture to the network of size 460 by 460 gets two branches after entering the Darknet 19 network. These branches undergo a series of convolutional upcycle merging and other operations. And the same as in Big Brother, the Two feature maps with different sizes are finally obtained with shapes of 30 by 30 and 255 and of course 26 20 by 26 by 20, 255. So uh, to see a full YOLO with the tiny implementation you can check my GitHub repository. The whole model was divided into three functions so it's darknet, YOLO and overall YOLO V3 tiny model. So I can show this for you on my GitHub. If you would open my 
GitHub repository and you would go to YOLO v3 spy script in the following directory you might see a lot of functions and here is the original darknet function and here is the tiny one and it's called 19 so this is the backbone of YOLO v3 tiny then it goes with uh, to the following tiny model with a head YOLO with three head which has two branches and of course I use one of my main functions to create full model as you can see from this function uh, you can choose you use tiny or original YOLO v3 model so that's it that's quite simple and if you are interested in how other code parts work you should check my first tutorial where I explain YOLO v3 theory because well actually it's quite the same to test YOLO v3 trying detection you might ask how to switch from YOLO v3 to YOLO v3 trying the answer is simple in YOLO v3 folder open config.py script as you do with original this one configs.py script and change train yolo tiny from false to true this following line of course you might change and other parameters the same way as i did in my previous tutorials for yolo v3 you might change actual by default it's configured for mnist to make sure that code works on your computer and everything is fine to change this data set to your own custom because if it works on mnist this means that it should work on your custom data set so if we would compare results with the original v3 model i would say that it performs much worse so we can run this model on my 1080i gpu and we can check what is the performance so actually i can open this tutorial and and there is the detection demo as you can see and here is yolo v3 tiny weights i am i will try the coco dataset model original model and let's run this on my video which i have there somewhere pre drive as in my previous tutorial and let's see what we can receive uh, frames per second and what is the accuracy of object detection so for this let's run this on my simple python idle shell and here is the video and I, it's not showing frames per sec seconds actually here but as you can see it detects option objects and first thing for me uh, came to my head why sometimes it the text actually lower objects than it should for example person but i have no idea how to fix this if someone has fixed this or has an idea how to do that you can comment my youtube tutorial or write me in other ways or simply write an issue with the solution on github repository i will respond to all these ways so actually right now i'm not sure how to fix this and as you can see it works uh, one frame takes around 25 milliseconds that's that's around 40 frames per second that's quite fast it's much faster than yolo v3 as twice as it was on the big brother but we have what we have so uh it depends on your computer because it's sometimes hard to say what what is faster and so on actually what i should mention that detection accuracy much worse so before using you should decide if you really need that speed of yolo v3 tiny or you need the accuracy of big brother so you then you could use yolo v3 so now i'll close this i don't need this anymore for an example to you i'll close this also now as well as we did for yolo v3 model the best way to test if custom model training works train it on my already prepared mnist data set as i showed the last time 
if you want to train it on custom data set you can check my previous tutorial of course how i how to prepare it, that data set when you have cloned the github repository you should see mnist folder which contains mnist images as you can see and from here we create an mnist training data with the following make data pi so everything explains step by step in my previous tutorial so just check it this script creates a training and testing images in the right format also this creates an annotation files as you can see these files and the yolo v3 config spy file is already configured for mnist training but if you are training tiny model you need to change that parameter from false to try as i showed you in the beginning of this tutorial so actually you can try to train it but as i already trained it i simply would like to open a tensor board and show you the results so i'll open a terminal and i'll write uh how tensor board and my default location is following and i copy link and i open this link here we don't we are not interested in learning rate actually i can zoom this for you and I'll we'll remove the smoothing here and as you can see this is the validation lost core and now this was quite nice results for received from training but only because mnist is quite a simple data set as well this as well while training the yule with the model i used to train for 30 epochs so now my tiny model required to train it for 100 epochs this means that we need to train a tiny model for more epochs than original one. As you can see, here is 100. And I think it would go even better if I would train it for longer because it, was, it kept decreasing by small steps. So our new custom model is saved in the checkpoints folder. Let's open it. Of course, I think. Checkpoints. And... And it's called uh, Yolo of the Custom Tiny Model. To check how detection works on our, on our MNIST custom detector, so simply run a detect MNIST PI script with Yolo V3 custom tiny weights. I ran this script and received the following results I have here. And if you are interested, I of course can also run this. Detect MNIST, let's open it. And I was saving these images. To the following format and right now i don't want to save them simply i'll remove i'll save on the same image so simply i can run a detection every two seconds and and of course i'll run this on cpu now because i don't want my to waste my gpu resources so let's run this Oh, sorry. Oh, whatever. I'll run it in the following way. As you can see, uh, it detects this kind of simple data set quite accurately and it's very fast as i as you saw from from my video tutorial i mean from my video detections it was 40 frames per second and that's it uh, as you can see it works here and it's really accurate and i don't know if i would need to improve it i, I think it detects these uh, amnists uh, by 100 percent but who cares so from the results we can see that for amnist custom tiny detection works quite accurately but this might be only because it's quite simple data set if you would like to train and run a detector from custom yolo 
with three tiny model on different data sets check my again previous tutorial where i show you how to prepare it for training so right now i'll close this we don't need this anymore and i'll return what it was here just like that and i'll close it so actually what i should say that I haven't tested to train a custom tiny model on different custom data set than MNIST but if it worked on MNIST I don't see a reason why it shouldn't work on a different data set in this code I made a workaround of course I can show this on github I made a workaround with anchors and strides and I placed this in config file so to use YOLO with the tiny model because it's used much fewer times than the original one I, and I didn't want to invest a lot of time to huge changes in my code because this requires a lot of time I made this maybe in the future I will do changes that won't need a workaround but now you can test this code on low-end devices and if you find any mistakes in code or you have a suggestions on how to improve it don't hesitate to make a pull request on GitHub. So if you need more accuracy from this tiny model on Google, you can find a lot of articles with modified versions and strategies people suggest for people to use to make if, if you want better accuracy. But this wasn't the goal of my tutorial. I just wanted to implement the original one to test for you. That's it. Thank you all for watching this tutorial. I hope this was useful for you. You can go to GitHub, like it, give a star, share, clone, you use, do whatever you want. But if you are using it for business or some other way, just mention me, please. And that's it. Thank you all for watching and see you in our next great tutorial of YOLO V3. Bye.